In this video, I thought instead of going over specific examples, I would just briefly try to give you a big picture view of what we're doing in this chapter. Right here it says testing arguments for validity. So basically we're going to use truth tables to test for a concept that came much earlier in the book and hopefully that you're comfortable with by now. Remember what validity is. Validity is a technical term for a good deductive argument. So basically we're going to use truth tables to see if a deductive argument is any good. Let's flip back to, uh, what was it, chapter 4 here. And I've got it highlighted. It says, a valid deductive argument is this, a deductive, deductive argument that has the following feature. If the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. And I'd even triple underline that. Has to be true. Could not be any other way. In fact, I like to think of validity like this. Validity is when an argument, uh, if it has true premises, it's impossible for the conclusion to be false. Okay? So let's think about that in terms of a truth table. Again, in this video, what I'm trying to do is sort of take a step back and make it more clear what we're doing with these truth tables. If we want to investigate whether an argument is valid, then we want to know whether it's possible to have true premises and a false conclusion. So hopefully it'll sort of become clear as you start thinking about the definition. If we set up the argument in this way, we put a premise in one column of the truth table, the other premise in another column, and so on, depending on how many premises we have, and then put the conclusion in the final column of the truth table so that we always have the premises across the top ending with the conclusion. Now, what this is going to do is going to allow you to test and see, column by column, do we have any situation where the premises are all true and the conclusion is false? If you come across, I'm digging, digging for my uh, red marker here, looks like I've lost it. Here we go, sorry about that. My red marker. If you come across a row where we end up with true premise, true premise, true premise, well then according to validity, it has got to have a false conclusion. Excuse me, <laughs> I muffed it. It's got to have a true conclusion. But if we have a false conclusion and all true premises, then what do we automatically know? We automatically know that this is not a valid argument. Because a valid argument by definition is an argument where it's impossible to have true premises with a false conclusion. So to just wrap up here, basically what we're looking for when we're testing an argument is we're testing to see if there's any possible situation. Remember, the whole point of a truth table is to set up the rows so that we see all the possible scenarios with the different sentence letters to see if there's any possible scenario where we have all true premises and a false conclusion. The moment that you see that it's possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false, automatically you know that the argument is invalid. Now, just one thing I'd like to add here. Think about it. Oh, I guess I'll go back to my, my blue pen. What about the rows where the conclusion is true? Will that tell us anything about the argument? No. The only rows that really interest us are the rows where the conclusion is false. Because that will have us asking, ah, here we have a false conclusion. I wonder if the premises are true. Because if they are, then immediately I know this is an invalid argument. So I'm going to make other videos giving specific examples, but that's the broad picture of what the strategy is. We're trying to spot rows with TTT 